I'd like to have more color and transparency variation in a more irregular way than I'm getting with using uh, a radial gradient. So uh, I'm going to create a gradient mesh here. Now I ought to be able to expand what I have here into a gradient mesh if I went to object and selected expand to a gradient mesh, but you get weird things when you do this uh, to a gradient that isn't just like perfectly round or something. So I'm going to undo that and just recreate this basically. I'm going to go ahead and create another ellipse here. It still has the same gradient I had before. So I'm going to switch this to a solid fill. Now, usually when creating something with a gradient mesh, I start with the color that I want around the edges, which is going to be my um, dark, well, an orange color that uh, fades out to. Then I'm going to select a color for the center. I'm going to get a bright yellow in here. Now before I go any further, I want to get the transparency around the edges. Now I could create a whole separate mesh, which is just the opacity mask, where I could start with black around the edges, put a white center, and I'd get that. Uh, but I would then have two meshes. I would have the color one and the opacity one, and if I tried making any alterations to the shape, I'd have to be able to change both of them. What I'm going to do instead is apply transparency to these points around the edge. You can do that by selecting them, going in here and making them transparent to make it a little easier. And I'm doing this now before I have too many of them. I'm going to go along here and shift click on these as I go around to select them. I think I have them all selected this time. And I make them all transparent. And now I have the gradient mesh going from a 100% opaque yellow to a 0% opaque orange. Now if I want more of the yellow, I can go in here and drag out the handles so that I have more of that, or I could use the Convert Anchor Point tool to drag out all the handles at the same time and maybe put a little bit of a twist in here. All right, so I'm starting to get my flame happening. Now I want to create the blue color down here. But that's going to affect more than I want to, so I'm going to go ahead and insert another yellow here. Now notice that when I added new points, the new points on the edge came in 100% opacity. So again, I'm going to have to go in, select those. Looks like it added some points in here too. Not quite sure. Kind of get back to where I was there. And on the other side, now if I click on this line, I won't get more points on the edge this way, but I will get points on the edge up this way. Sometimes they look kind of cool. I might even leave those at like 10% just so there's a little bit of variation happening there. Now I want to go in and create my blue color which is going to be down here. Now I could just select this point on the edge, make it my blue, and that was already 0%. Now when I go up a little bit higher, make another point, I've got um, pretty much what I want there. That's going to be 0% blue, as I stretch this around, I can get some of the variation I want. Now the, the advantage of the 
gradient mesh, of course, is that I can get a much more turbulent kind of look, much more color variation, more interesting things happening in here. Also as a gradient mesh, this reacts very well with the distortion tools like the warp tool. So I could go in, once I have it all set up, I can go in and play, get just the amount of eccentricity that uh, I want from this thing.